Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Authentic Info Podcast. I'm your host, Admaster Andre Chava. Now, the EFF continues to chop the councillors who fail to perform, you know, through delivering uh, the mandate that, we, that, that they were given earlier this year, that is to deliver passes that carries their constituencies to the EFF 10th anniversary. They continue to chop. The number that uh, we, we had it, is that 400 of them has failed. And now the number has dropped, I think, to 209 that they are going to chop. So the leader of the EFF, Julius Malima, states that there is no way that he can think he has 1,200 councillors, only to find out that 400 are underperforming or are not in his sight. He is he's better or he's well off when he has 800 councillors who are uh, saving the interest of the uh, EFF. So this comes after these guys were given an opportunity six months before the event to organize buses that will carry their constituencies to attend the event. And a lot of them failed. So it's, it's, it, the media asked, don't you think this decision is bad now that you are heading towards the elections? And he laughed at them. He said, if a person fails to organize one bus, there's no way that that person can disturb the mission of the EFF in 2024. And they are not saying that uh, they are firing these people. They are saying that they are removing them. They are recalling them from their positions and they are not taking their membership, which means there is still a chance for these people to plead their case. There's still a chance for these people to go back and work and work and support the organization. That is if they were not ambitious. But we know that there are op a lot of opportunists in the EFF who are, have not yet been detected. There are a lot of people who are in the EFF for positions who I think the CIC or the top six have been detected. And I think they should work hard on that because it becomes difficult. I mean, we see people forming parties from when they are expelled, from when they are suspended from the ANC because they went there for positions. They went there for other motives. They had other motives other than saving the people and delivering the mandate. So if the EFF decides to fire or recall all these people from their positions as early as uh, it is now, I think it is heading towards the right di direction so that it can be seen, so that people on the ground can see and learn that the EFF is not an opportune uh, home or party where you go to uh, be awarded positions for free. You have to work hard, and if uh, it happens that you are seen to be lazy and decide they decide to recall you, you need to prove and stay to prove that you were not there for that position. It is your people who trusted you with certain with those responsibilities, but you failed to deliver because councillors uh, don't make themselves. Councillors are made. It is the communities who vote for these people. It is the communities who give these people power and authority to go and represent them. And if a, a member of parliament fails to organize a bus, I mean a person who has a salary fails to organize one bus to Johannesburg, it's bad. For example, in Limpopo, in Gyan Malamlela, I think it's 350 rand to pay for a, a trip to Johannesburg, which means the return is 700. But if this is a special trip, Obviously, it cannot be 700. It has to be less. And you need to mobilize. You need to do door-to-door. -door, you need to ask for donations and things like that. Not 100% of that money will come from your pocket. So if you have a member of parliament who fails to organize one trip to Johannesburg for six months, in six months, I, I think the CIC was lenient. If I was that leader, I was going to expel them. I was going to let them go forever and never come back. Because when we are building, we need someone who understands the mission and who will respect 
their position. So we saw this uh, back in the days. There was this uh, member of parliament uh, of the EFF who I think was told that he must go to Malamlele and, and be a mayor. That is to converse and work on the ground and, and try to use this image that uh, they, they have councillors in Malamle. Honorable Mtilen. He refused. He was fired. And I think uh, they shouldn't be lenient on people, on those type of people. When a person is deployed somewhere else, the, that person must just go. It's a political mission. They must go and serve. Whether you come from Limpopo, when they say you must go to uh, some rural areas in the Eastern Cape, you must go and serve. So, people who fail to organize uh, trips, I mean one trip in six months, cannot be taken seriously, cannot be trusted with such responsibilities as MP, which means these people are sleeping, taking pictures, and they don't have contact with the ground. Because if they had contact with the ground, it would be easy. Even if it's 10 or 20 buses, it can be easy. I mean, having that... Uh, chance to be a member of parliament. If I can be a member of parliament, I think I can have more influence where I come from. I think I wouldn't even wait to be paid. I wouldn't even wait to be given a certain uh, portfolio so that I am seen to be doing something. I can use that influence of being a member of parliament. I can use that influence of being a high-profile politician to make a difference even where I come from. I can't, I can't fail to organize. Even one bus. So people are going to lose jobs because they take political uh, deployment as a job. And they stay there, earn a salary, go on trips, get girlfriends, enjoy their lives. And that is not the case. When you are deployed, you go and serve. You go and serve. And I think the CIC needs to check carefully. Even amongst those who delivered, they must always scrutinize them to check who is really on their side, who is really there to serve. And I think they should, should, they, they should check their performance at least each and every three months or each and every four months. What have you done? What have you delivered? in the previous four months as a, as a member of parliament? What have you done? What have you contributed? Because I think in 2023, they had a mission to at least convince one million people to be members in good standing of the EFF. I think they should have checked who convinced more uh, or who recruited more new members to join the party and who recruited the least. I think they should have had that type of system to check that. That as a member of parliament, how many uh, re recruits do you have? How many did you recruit to the party? So that uh, if it happens that a political party like the EFF becomes government, it doesn't come with a lot of lazy people. The ANC has created leadership opportunities for a lot of black people that you can't take away from. But where are these people? We don't see them. We don't know them. You, need, you, you still need to Google who is the MEC uh, for finance in Gauteng, for example. But by the time Panyaza was there in education, we knew about Panyaza. The name came to us because it was seen to be waking. What happened to the other MECs who came from uh, the ANC? Who is the MEC uh, of finance in Northwest, for example? To show that these people are not working, they're not doing that. There's no way that you can work in silence in politics because we must see what you produce. Panyaza is a good example. We can say he's corrupt. We can say he's using the, the, the money from province to, 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 to mobilize for, for the ANC 
through Nazi Spain campaign. We can accuse him of that. But we can't take away uh, the fact that where he, he is, whenever he occupies a position, you will hear of him. You will see him working. Because even this Nazi Spain, you see him every day. You know where Panyaza is. That's the type of black leaders that we want. They should compete on service delivery. So that even when they eat, we can, we can, we can back them up. But if they can come and say there is a, 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 an MMC from Etequini who is accused of corruption, what, what, you don't know that person. You have to believe there's, there's that story because they carry no weight. They are not known. They are not seen to be doing anything. They're just politicians who uh, have financial muscles and intimidate people on clubs, in events, take people's girlfriends, drive these big cars, luxury cars, stays in uh, security estates, render services to the people, zero. So I think the EFF must be careful of the type of people who become councillors and who are afforded an opportunity to be MPs. I think it must be very careful because if a person is expelled and they go and form a party, but by the time they were there, they didn't even have any mission, nothing. They were not seen to be doing anything. It's quite questionable. It means that person was there not to serve the people or the interest of the party, but themselves. For example, there is uh, the mayor of Ekurle, Duma. That guy is very active. That guy has been active even if even before he became mayor. We see young people both Viani Pambo. They are very active. You know, they don't wait for them to be deployed as, 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 as these seniors in, 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 in government so that they can be seen to be working. They are on the ground. They are very active. Even when this, this person moves, you can see that this is a fighter. But people who are given a chance for six months to carry their constituency to go and celebrate the 10th anniversary and fail to deliver a bus as a member of parliament, as a member of the provincial legislature, what, what is it that these people can deliver when they become ministers, deputy ministers, and ambassadors? Which means you'll arrive at France sometime and find that the, the, the embassy of South Africa is closed. The person has gone clubbing. You don't even know who is in there. Because they would have been undetected. I think you should test them more. Give them a mandate each and every six months and see who delivers, who doesn't. Help them so that... Because there is no, no, no hunter who uses someone's dogs. So it means if the EFF goes on to win elections, for example, in 2024, the CIC is forced to use his members and deploy them into all other, these positions that will be available for them. Because there are a lot of political positions in government. And I, I think if a political party like the EFF wins, they will still need to employ people who are not even members of their party. That's how many the, the, the opportunities of political positions are in government. The directors, uh, the generals, there are a lot. And they will need all these institutions to be run by their people so that the, their ideology uh, is seen to be implemented so that their mandate is implemented. He will need his people. So if he has 400 who are dragging, by the time he has 1.2, 400, that is almost 30%, 35% of your people who are councillors, trusted by their people, being useless. Imagine if they take power. There will be chaos. 
they will be left with no other option but to go back to the people of the ANC and try, try to check who can perform. They will be left with no other option because they will have to employ ministers, deputy ministers, heads of departments, uh, generals, uh, directors in departments, things like that. They will, these are political positions that if the EFF wins, he must, the Malima must come, uh, the president, CIC Julius Malima, must come with people to occupy those positions so that his mission is not betrayed. So imagine now that he is 400 or 200 councillors down. What's going to happen? And I think these are the things that we, we need to understand as young people. So that when we go and vote in 2024, we check these political parties. You want to vote for ATM in 2024. It's fine. How many people voted for ATM in the previous elections in 2019? How many seats does ATM have? How many members does ATM have? What's going to happen if ATM can win elections in 2024? Who are they going to employ as ministers, deputy ministers? That, these are the things that we must think about before we vote for these pol small uh, political parties. Because a, a new political party must come with credible leaders. That is why in, in 1994, the ANC started to drop. This is Authentic Info Podcast. I'm your host, Master. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.